Welcome to this Tyrannus and NASA 32 quick tip. In another video we've already shown how you can actually configure these two together for telemetry to work and I'll link to that in the description but there's also another really cute easy way for you to get the RSSI signal strength indicator into the NASA 32 in a way that can be displayed on things like minim OSD and on-screen displays. So I'm going to show that in this video. It's quite straightforward and quite cute. What we can do here is on the NASA 32 tell it that one of the input channels from the receiver is actually showing the RSSI signal strength. And then all we have to do is just set up one of the channels on the receiver to actually show that value. So we're going to do two things here. First of all, we're going to go into the radio and we're going to create a simple input and then a simple mix for an output so that the RSSI value appears as one of the channel values. And then we're going to jump into Clean Flight and actually tell Clean Flight which of those channels it is. Now, normally on this receiver, when we have it configured in PPM mode, the way it works is that it actually outputs a PWM RSSI signal on the second output. But the cool thing about the way this works is that we don't have to change any of the wires if you already have your NAS A32 connected to your D4R2 receiver using this cable, you've already got everything that you need to do. There's no more wiring to be done. So the first thing we need to do then is set up probably the fifth or sixth channel that we're not using to control the NAS A32 to output our RSSA value information. So, Tyrannus time. So here we have a model that we're currently using with a multi-rotor. So if I just go into the settings in here, here are the inputs. There are the inputs that we've got, throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, and a switch that actually sets up the different modes. And if we go onto the outputs, again, very simple, we have each of the outputs corresponding to the inputs, including a flight mode switch. Now what we're going to do is add a sixth channel onto this setup in a way that will output the RSSI value. So what we need to do is press and hold page to go back to the inputs, and we need to create a new input. So we're going to press and hold on 6. We're going to call the input name something like RSSI so we can keep track of it. And then we're going to go down and we're going to select the source. Now the source, as we've seen in some of the other pieces with the Tronus series, can be pretty much anything. The amazing thing is, is not only can we select things from the switches on the radio, we can also select things from the telemetry as well. So we need to search for RSSI. <laughs> We need to set the scale to be 100, because we want all of it, and the weight to be 100 as well. Fantastic. Now we have that as an additional input, we also need to set it in the channel. So we're going to add that to the sixth channel. We're going to give the mix name a name, I'm actually going to call it signal strength. The source name is RSSI, pick that up. Now the way it normally works is that the middle of channel is normally zero, with minus 100 and plus 100 being the two channel ends. Now we don't want it to work like that, we want it to work so if the RSSI value is zero, then the channel outputs minus 100. So what we have to do is change this a little bit. So we have to change the weight to 200, so we get twice the value out because what we're actually going to do is use the offset to take a hundred off it so that it actually starts at the very left hand side and goes up. Okay, so there we now have our channel six will output the RSSI value in a way that the Clean Flight and NASA 32 could understand. So now we've got that set up, let's jump onto Clean Flight, do the configuration and we'll amazingly be able to see the RSSI values in clean flight, but that also means that they'll be available in on-screen displays too. So, now it's PC time. 
And here in Clean Flight, you can see that we actually can see the RSSI value. Now, if I just check on the radio what it's saying the RSSI value is. Yeah, it's about 90, 91. So it's bang on with what's appearing on the screen. And then I take my hands away from the radio, interestingly, it actually uh, increases a little bit. So there's my hands on the radio, there's my hands off. Now, that what's making this work is really, really simple. And this is the real power of this way of doing it. If we go into the receiver, here are our normal channels. So there's our throttle and our um, other bits and pieces. There's our flight mode switch and auxiliary two, which is the sixth channel. I've told it that's the one that you're getting your RSSI value from. So that changing value that's coming down here is the one that's actually been understood by the Clean Flight NAS A32 program and is actually then being populated into the RSSI value here. So it's that simple. Now, if we connect our minimum OSD or using something else, we will see exactly how much RSSI signal strength we have. Not only that, we haven't had to use any of the wires, ports or connections to make it work. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.